11.33 a.m. On the fourth day, ninth month, 2023. I'm having a look here now through some of the totals that are going to impact New Zealand as I'm concerned about that storm that's about uh, 11, 12 days away and exactly when it's going to begin to impact uh, at the tip of the North Island up here. So I'm watching this very, very closely. Uh, your totals out of fives are, are still pretty horrendous over here for, for the Kiwi Beak area here. here. It would be it's, it's, it's down here doing a big dripping of water. Right over here, the big Takaka, I guess it's being taken by the big Kiwi over here. It was, I guess it's well named. So um, I'm going to go through what the setup is for this and what your today's conditions are going to be and you know, what you could deal with this weekend as they begin to swell the streams. And with heavy totals that on the tens, uh, they kill the dreams. And you're noticing a big part of the stat here has increased greatly, has been the Fakatani region in it from this, uh, this sticky outfit here on over to the thumb. And so that means they're moving moisture in a way over the top, it's gonna butt it up against it from that direction is usually what that means. And when you see it on this as well, it means you got an up and around. So boy, is it gonna take some beaming to do that. And along the coast road of Stray, whammo, something showing up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, but I, I figured it would. As I told you, I was I still saw all the potential with the pressures for a spinner to form here. It might even be a slow mover, but then it would track up coast uh, from here up toward that direction. So it, that's making perfect sense to me. So I uh, expect the totals along these coastal areas to rise. Cause, and how's the ranges held off between here and here? But then on the tens, the whammo. Because they've been beaming the corridor here to split these flows. And that's how that's missed out on this rain that you're getting over to fives. So you'll be expecting the beams to, uh, of the next reds and uh, the other devices to be creating those heated block areas that they so often show up uh, on the radar images. And uh, maybe even uh, today's it'll show up. Now let me go back at uh, 12 hours here and click the button and see what, what, what we're about to see. I know I should have wrote that ahead of time. But I was very aware of the blasting that was going on in this corridor here, like this one here, that little be ripply looking bit. It is that's uh, evidence of the next rat up there in that area, uh, perturbing the atmosphere and uh, creating weather. Bzzzt. See the fryer? Turn it on, turn it on, turn it in, burden. Your long reach is blasting, emerald is on. This is on, and Mount Ice is on, creating those flows. This is going to generate some winds uh, through here, especially going in that direction. As they hemmed that up, did the squeeze, and allowed that. So that's going to be why you had those sudden storms pop up along this highway here between uh, Emerald and uh, in Long Reach itself over here. What, what number road is this? It's the A2. Yeah, they got for you for your ash too. And it's also going to swell up this creek, get some watersburg running over towards you, and uh, well, you know how that goes. So let me turn my sound down here so I can, uh, potential of seeing some of your comments is greater, which is important to me. Plug the phone and charge her up. There we go. Hey, don't want it to run out like it did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the web went out. Uh, man, I had all these screens loaded. I wanted to go live last night. Uh, so these radars were quite active. Uh, creating flows and doing stuff. So let's have a look at what they say is going to happen. And the first thing I noticed was, yeah, you, I told you the other day that all the potential for tornadic type activity for this area here was great. And it did occur. You had hail and bad winds. And I believe I, one person spotted a water spout. I haven't seen an image of it yet. I just heard it. But I'm not, I'm not uh, surprised at all uh, with that. Uh, result of uh, their contaminating you and that rolled right on through there and over the next hour you had Had some peacefulness, but did you really have peacefulness or did they bomb you in your sleep? Bzzz, they fried it away and there's still some catalyst being spread But though your peaceful sleep is being on uh, having tinnitus induced uh, your EMF ultrasonic undulations You can see right here on the in this image here that you should be a uh, you got a lot of bombing here going off the coast here between between Byron and uh, oh, whatever it is that Tweeds. Give me a look. Yeah, and Tweeds head, head. <laughs> yeah, you've been bombed. It, it's a chem bomb here. Look at the loopy uh, pattern of that and that one out here. So what you see over there, uh, stealing your moonlight out there, you is uh, is these chem bombs here. Look at the sixty six here. One six four hike. Going off in this bomb mass over here, Chris, from uh, 
that'll be Brisbane, that'll be um, and the Kabulchery, you know, Bribey Island area, and the clowns of clowns are over there clowning around in the air. Yeah, the clownsrous guys, you boom, 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 went to Bloom off the coast of Brisbane there on that island, copped it. The animals copped it. Right now, move it forward in time. Boom, boom, bzz, bzz, boom, boom, bzz, 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 boom, boom, bzz, bzz, boom, 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 boom. Boy, are they gonna fuck you with these plumes, New Zealand? This is all just for you, all of it, just for you. It's coming your way. and It's falling out. What somebody wrote limp because they breathe too much of this, not with their dick one, or is that just a double star and magic being thrown in your sky? Are they practicing dark magic in your sky? Do they think they own you if that cloud goes over the top of you? And you breathe it in with a particle with their name on it, like a voodoo doll? What are they doing to you, Australia? Judging from the way your year went, somebody stuck a voodoo doll in an Australia match somewhere. Yeah. They did it in Hawaii and it burned a place down. Do you not see what's going on yet? Do 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 do. Boom. Directed energy weapons from next rad radars directing storms. That's how this is going on. Booming and a plumbing. Night times A's are ruining. Drawing using runes in the sky to do magic. I see that all the time too. You know, you can say you're fighting the devil, but when I say I point out, yeah, you are, look, they're doing it in your sky. You don't you think I'm out of my mind. Well I'm not. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Point out the obvious. You guys have been chemically attacked. And if we do a quick right turn Clyde here from Albuquerque, I go over here to the absolute crime scene over the skies of New Zealand. Something going one direction while everything's going the other. You know, this is all that way, but that says no. This one vortex in there, this is vortex in there. This is separate bomb deployment, separate EMF. And we need to separate the weather machine from the rich man's glutches. It seems that he will use it toward bending the profit to himself and not mitigating harm. Boom, boom, boom. See the three right there? That's 30 minutes of them not going away. Pluming after. It's a point of triangles pointing at something. Nothing to see here, you know. God forbid you guys should make a connection in your head without mainstream television telling you that it's a fact. If you wait for the news that feeds you propaganda to tell you facts, you're going to be waiting a long time. And I ain't waiting. I don't need them to tell me the truth, to tell me the news. I can see it right here. Hey, these people over here have been chemically attacked in this country. I'll go over to another one and just blindly say, you know, well, let's see who else they're treating like a heart. You know, so I'll go over here a little worldview. Uh, so hopefully I can get a clear image of when I do this. I'm going to go straight for it. I'm going to waste no time. I'll edit this out as soon as I turn it in. So let's do this now. I'll go right over here to New Zealand before we get a crystal clear image. I had a whole bunch of lines. Yeah, they did the low deck, but it's enough where you can see the loopiness is here, can't you? See them dots? Boom, boom, boom. Why is it refracting green ice light? And what's in it? What chemical is that? Of course, that. These dots here. Boom, boom. Pluming off. Streamers. Streamers of death. Over the ocean. Over the straits. Let's get this straight. The Paris Accord must fail. And if you don't believe this is going on over the top of you, Oh, then don't. Well, I could tell you the illnesses that are often associated with this, and you tell me if you're feeling them tomorrow. How are your lungs feeling, mister who never had asthma, or missus who have never had asthma? And now suddenly you don't. You're having trouble breathing. Well, look at the pollution here. The acid content uh, today over this island was 6.0, according to one that was handed to me. I believe that was here. And I want these rains checked. For pH, how else are you going to prove anything in a world where the people that do this on the laboratories that do the test for the stuff in the air, they're not going to show their own guilt. They're a bunch of lying ass sexist shit and all they want is you dead and your money in their pocket while you go. And well, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to see everybody dead. But I'm watching an extinction level event of fumigation, if you will, going on across my entire world. That's not a naturally occurred cloud formation. I keep saying, how many directions of the wind do you have here? Even that four dot right here in the center. 
It's a very predictable formation of a Kanban plume. All these straight lines and streamers here in this one deck of clover. You probably didn't see the sky in some spots today. But over the top of, let's say, this area right here. You go to the top of this area. There's more Kanbans here, lugs. Loops, loops, loops. Boom, 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 boom. Right here by this highway. Yeah, that isn't just microwave popcorn clouds. It takes oils and seasons to make your popcorn. And some heat. Okay? Yeah, you see evidence of the interference pattern, but you also see evidence of the chemical catalyst. Right here, streamer in earth. Streamer in earth, like a giant shark in the sky. Big magic mushroom plume. Boom! An explosion with a mushroom cloud. Now, let's see here, folks. Is that falling up or down? Only the force of the explosion will tell you that. And is this over here, wind going that way? Yeah, it is. Is you know, this going to go over the city over here? Yeah, well... Is this going to cause inundations and rains over here? Yeah, well, is this going to be a problem for these people living here? It surely is right here, right now. There is no tomorrow. That's just a promise and spoken. You only have now. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, Kim Bamisaki. It's the vulture Wei Chang. It's not just EMF. Anybody say, hey, look at all the sulfury looking plumes and the different colored ice here. Either that's a super thin layer catching the sunset just right, that the chemicals are refracting the light even in one spot differently than the other. This is a huge field of Kim Bam being nucleated by EMF and is coming your way like a freight train. And I got the stop handle with the rope in my hand. It's not working. I refuse to jump off the train as we look at the vulture flying in. Boy, are you guys got a time coming over the next two weeks. Very, very concerned. So let's zoom this back. Do that thing you love so much. Uh, look at the weather playing unfold and listen to what I agree with and disagree with about it. And I'm gonna, I'll be poisonous from time to time and switching graphs and stuff. And well, they steal my forecast, they steal my forecast. I can't help guys don't think my work is a value I can't help that uh, I consider it a value so I'll keep doing it because this comes its way of course you've already got streams all swelling up now and the kiwi's beak is taking a breath taking a breath and the cacao weather to ha 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 from that and too much crickets from other people while they sneaking crickets in your food you never thought the uh, plague of locusts was going to come in your milkshake and in your candy bar did you well, here you go. As they split the flow this day, this is earthquake risk day. There's a lot of EMF it's going to take to, to block and turn this storm. And I'll be watching very closely for the big beams uh, over the next 24 hours that sets this up. And it has to cut that to fold it. And so that vulture looking thing that was coming across, that's its head. Whammo! And when this all meets with what's coming down from here in about six days from this map's time here, it's going to begin another week of terribleness. For the beautiful North Island in New Zealand and uh, the sticky out bits in the West, as you guys start to learn some of my terminology. What a shame. Now I'm going to do the jumpings because uh, it's no sense of seeing every minute of this because uh, it's doo doo. And about this time, uh, Australia, what I've been warning you about along your coast is going to occur. Uh, that warm desert air is going to get some, some moisture from the top. It's another cold blast, but not as cold as before. And it's going to kick off some very, very volatile weekend for you. And some of these are going to be turnatic. They're going to be a springtime flowers, off the tree kind of thing to fuck your fruit. So watch your growth. And this is a bad day here. Right at that moment is when I get very concerned. When this is hemmed up the mountain and it already has an outlet to the sea and i already seen the beam lines in place down here for the slide move where it'll pull the tendril out and then this will pivot over. Whammo! About the same time the storms will kick in from uh, this side here. A circulation will begin to form if it hasn't already because the bubble up is right there. That steams your way. Second bubble up is going to occur in here. Okay, so I'll turn that up for now. It seems to give a better graphic for you guys. See the split in the flow there? And to do that, imagine gap, guilty grafting's beaming will begin. 
then a full on on the coast to shove that off in a beam of a wiper move so you'll have another large blast and uh, most likely coming from over here or Newcastle pulsing out to sea here coming on Saturday afternoon or early uh, Sunday mo Saturday morning and I'll be watching for these EMF moves and if it's a big enough beam they'll have a CME uh, thing going on and they're going to need a big one to stay here to back this and shove this along and this does have the potential to cruise just to the north of Hawaii here so I'm going to watch this one very very closely as the pressure lines across the Pacific here uh, will tend to make this go to the to the 15 16 line here yeah, it'll it'll want to bubble in that direction so this is a it could be a full on steamer straight into Hawaii or come to the north and then whammo down straight over Oahu and finish him off with a fucking flood, you geoengineering scumbaggy, empathyless bastard, useless breathers. They are all of them useless breathers. Because without us, they don't produce nothing. They sell nothing. By your actions, you decide their future. What you buy and what you don't. Whether you buy their bullshit stories or your bullshit product, you're paying for your own poisoning. And it's only you can decide how you want to react to what I just said. As we get it into Tuesday, again, I'm very concerned about the low here. It's just going to keep, it's going to pop off on top of you. Watch when it moves over. There's that typical double mo, and the up and over to the top. Stir that tropical moisture back in, and you've got a very wet week coming. New Zealand, very wet week. Okay, so these totals I'm showing you now over the next 16 days are going to be significantly higher especially up here when they're moving that tendril over back over there at the old wango wango or the fango up there the fangaria it sounds like a diarrhea if something bites you and you get the shit you get fangaria man you don't want to have fangaria yeah is that you just start doing the fitty anga tango you know where you have fits you know like the jab fits you have here i'm not having that kind of thing and as we get down here toward oh fuck it shiny now how are you getting let out of this are they beaming your ass are they gonna heat this area here what's going on and suddenly you have no totals or do they think these streams are good enough or have they fucked you long and hard enough and they're looking at your sister next door because that's what it looks like they're done they're going they're going next door and again the thumb stays shaggy it has been shaggy for about a year Oh, we've got a thumbprint. Oh, oh, prune looking, ain't it? The prune thumb. Prune fingers into the care care weather that they're showing. Uh, these totals on the 16s, I would expect to see every bit of 15 centimeters within 14 days in this spot. Yeah, it's, it's very soggy there. I imagine the molds are going to be growing quite well. Okay, so the sneezinesses and wheeziness, wheeziness this will continue. And when they add this crap to the air, yeah, that I'm showing you here. It doesn't dry out. And this is like right now. What's going on? Over the tops of your head here. There's all these combines destroying your, your good oxygen. And something here that looks like old TikTok clock there. It's definitely gone cuckoo. Or is that the eyes of the tiki there? Only you can decide. Ooh, do, 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 do. Bobby Brady put the tiki back. Put it back. Somebody's playing with the tiki again. Oh, as we go into 10 minute backwards jumps. So all the flow is going south here, right? And that one ain't. Hi, let's ride that EMF line or is something being remotely controlled uh, to go in to that direction. Undisclosed progress do undisclosed things. And one thing I see here is the flower of death. You see the petals there, 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 and there. Exploding off this line of chem bombs. Bam, 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 they love you, so you're screw, 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 the bomb, 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 they love you, breathe their plumes. You know why they do it? Because we let them. Right here, right now, right here, right now. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba plum. I tell you what, the rhythm of life is so disrupted with electromagnetic frequency, the hum of the infrasound. It's just torturous to, to all life on this planet. Maybe some of you just believe that you have bad hearing, but really you're hearing the, all, the sound of the EMF in the heart, but just continuously reverberating in your bones and in your food. And it's, it's an unhealthy waveform. 
It's not 7.83, 11 harmonic hertz like an Ioni device will give you in your pocket. Or like Mother Earth planned for you to have as your birthright. And your birthright should not only be upheld, but it should be uh, yours. You were born on a land. You weren't birthed on a dock. Some of you were, I think. But uh, no, rats will be rats. But I wasn't. How many directions are the wind here? This just stays in place, you know. The waveform of energy that keeps these two flows separate. Pulse going through it, boom, boom, heading north to south. See that undulation line through there? It's really faint in the haze. That's the rhythm of the microwave. And if you can measure that wave in between peak and trough, you'll know exactly what frequency they're using. It's just basic physics and math. But it don't take a fucking rocket science to open up their freaking haze. You could smell a fart in the room, and you could smell this. You could taste this. It tastes like old fillings, metal in the air. Sometimes the, it smells like seawater, because that's been called cloud brightening, and they're allowed to do that. To respect sunlight, and somebody just wrote the word off out here, hey, that WEF needs to fuck off. What is that WEF? Look at it in this bottom here. Don't send this round sticker. Fuck your Schwab sticker. Stick your fucking Schwab right up your own ass. Take your lockdown and shove it up your ass. I didn't do nothing criminal. And the word asymptomatic means healthy and no symptoms. And you ever try to convince somebody that healthy is unhealthy? Well, that means you're selling product. Snake oil salesman, like in Josie Wales. How's it on stain? I have time to spit on her shirt. Call them in their bluff. This stuff clears everything so bad. You put, you put this in your arm first. And we'll check you after two years, Mr. Warp Speeder. Boom, boom, boom. Look how big that is. It take you hours to drive from here to here. Look at the big F. Look at it. Look at this. Can't get any more obvious. It's almost the word IF. And if we don't do something about this, it's our fault. We did it. We killed the creatures. We burned the forest. We burned the layers. We as homo sapiens did not say no more, no more. I am not the system's heart. As we look at terrible totals. As we look at the coming of the storms. It's... And you can't get an honest forecast from people you pay to give you a forecast who do... Say, my credentials ain't no good, but I'll tell you what, I'll put my track record in next to your credential any day, motherfuckers. Shame on you stealing my forecast, waiting ten minutes after I was done to do it there, Met Service. You knew this was going to happen days ago, you should have told people. You're a bunch of scumbags, you're murderers, and you're complacent. And you're a bunch, you're working for the agenda, barons. And I hope your house blows down in these storms. I hope an earthquake crumbles your existence. Like it did so many other people. And you didn't warm properly. On a storm that never fizzled out along these roads here, and people died because of your lack of honesty. And if we don't start getting honest real quick, we're going to live a fucking life of lies worse than we ever have. And these totals in the tens here are coming ashore. They ain't going to sit over there. They just won't tell you. But I did, and I have, and I will not be silent. Hey, nothing to see in this part of the do they think I was coming over? Like I didn't already do enough. Like I can't go over here and hit this. I don't like hidden data. I keep standing. Like I can't go over here and see what the hell happened today over in Wollongong. Yeah, looking, looking uh, west, I want to look at east. Yeah, so let's look east and see what did we see today over Wollongong. Since you, you feel I don't deserve data and your people don't deserve data. Yeah, everything has straight edges leaning back with curly is like that and the bomb luck and the devil horns on it. That's geoengineering picket. Oh, thank you very much for the singular chem bomb to make my point here. Uh, that there's more than one way to skin a cat and cats shouldn't be getting skinned no how. Isn't that nice? You had some blue sky, but before that, you get bombed. So go on outside and breathe the fallout. Everybody go out, go out, breathe this shit. It won't be over soon enough for us. Because we're going to have to put up with the malaise. We're going to be burying our children. And it's unacceptable. 
you need a more obvious Swiss degree winning this guy here? Look, it's a zigzag. Something is up here doing the fuckery. Something over here with all the tendrils pointing at it, blocking the sunlight that they, these trees need over here to eat. And over, you know, the starvation planet policy seems to be going on. And we forced starved forests by taking its sunlight away. It would take CO2 out of the air and give you oxygen back. Doesn't that sound like what they say the problem is? Well, tell them to stick their solution up their ass. I think their solution is misguided. I think it's guided toward the profit bearers, the agenda bearers that honestly, openly state that you will own nothing and be somehow happy about this. Is I could look at this beautiful mountainside here. It is nice to see the heather growing and the reds and the stuff here. I, I could never ever complain about such a shot. You can't tell me I shouldn't be able to look at the sky uh, because all of Australia is the only thing left up to feed. Like I can't say, hey, look what happened yesterday. And I go, fuck you, Australia. You know, look, look at these big straight lines. Look at these microwaves. Why don't you just take this off the map completely? And then your people can fly blindly into your brand new fire dens and you have no fucking maps. And you'll kill people and somehow get your jollies performing death magic, sacrificing the population you're supposed to be protecting and nurturing. It's by your power you give them power, and I have, they have no power here. And I will not be silent. That's a, that's a light with a lot of glare. Beautiful stars of different colors, a great example of the Doppler effect. They're coming towards moving away. Oh, you ain't hiding your lies from my eyes on the skies. You can't disguise this. You can't tell me it's a glitch over a radar station when I turn it over here and see the microwaves it's producing on the nucleating cloud condensate. You can't talk piss down my back and tell me it's raining. And you can't poison the Great Barrier Reef with acids and tell me it's bleaching. I'll tell you it's being dissolved by acid attack from our oppressors who are pissing down your back and telling you it's raining. They're telling you a fart is the cause of defoliation and problems, but really, they're telling you it's warm and it's not. They're lying about statistics. They put a fierce red color on an 80 degree Fahrenheit day to make you think it's hotter than it ever was and you're in Hades itself. But will you give up the millions and billions and trillions of taxes they want? Promise your kids' future enslavement forever to the IMF of which I never meant a personal deal and did not contract their debt as being my own. Now this land is your land and my land. I'm going to have to click that for where I get really upset. Alright, big love. Stay safe, peace.